Hey girlies, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with another video today. And yes, I'm mid filming another video, but I thought I'd throw this in and kind of film two at once. But anyway, um, a couple of you have asked me to do a side by side comparison of the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder and the Makeup Revolution Luxury banana powder um so my ben nye one is nearly finished because i've used it religiously and this one i brought recently so you know it's full um so i thought i'd do this before my ben nye one finishes so you guys can get a gauge on if they're basically the same thing or if you should splurge and get the ben nye one so let's put it on so clearly i've already done my concealer under my eyes but i'm just going to tap it out in case i've got any creasing during that intro <laughs> so on one side i'm going to use the ben nye and then i'll flip it and use the makeup revolution one i think i'm gonna do ben nye on this eye makeup revolution on this eye so let's start with ben nye i will also be doing a flashback test so we can see I'm just going to set the face like I normally would. Well, this half of the face would be nice. So that is the Ben Nye applied and then I'm going to flip the sponge and use the other side for the Makeup Revolution powder. I'm trying to apply the same amount. Okay, I'm feeling this side feels tighter already. It feels like tight. Okay. Okay, so this is how they both look under the eyes. They look exactly the same. Yeah, I think. As far as my eyes can tell, they look exactly the same. So I'm just gonna apply some mascara and let it sit for a tiny bit, just like a minute or two. So right now I'm doing a review for this palette, so I will link it down below in case you're interested. But that is what is on my eyes right now. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. small tapered brush, which I always take to wipe away my bake, and I'm gonna wipe away the Ben Nye side first, since that's what we did first. Blends away effortlessly. And looks quite flawless from where I am. And now to wipe away the Makeup Revolution side. I don't know if you lot are close enough to see this, but I will do you a close up after. But this side is a lot drier. I put the same amount of powder in my opinion, um, but this side is a lot drier. Obviously, most of this would probably go with, you know, a couple sprays of a setting spray. The dry look and the patches might go, um, but this side came out flawless, you know, without setting spray. So I'm gonna zoom you girlies up so you can see the difference. Okay, so this is a very, very, very close up um, of the powders. I'm gonna smile so you can see. They both kind of look dry because I haven't used a setting spray, but this side is a lot drier. Um, right here, I hope you can see. If not, you know, I'm telling you it's there. There's like a dry patch right there. Um, this side looks really smooth and flawless. And dare I even say it, this side looks a bit more white cast. Usually what I do with my under eye, I take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish when I'm dabbing my whole face and I just like dab under there real quick. So I'm gonna do that on both sides because that's usually what I do anyway. It is like really early 12, it's 12. At the end of the day, I will come back at you with a full review and my opinion of which one I think is worth the money or what you should get or da 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 da. So I will see you later 
Okay girlies and I'm back. So I've done majority of my day. So um, it's dark outside, it's now 5 p.m. I did the powder at 12, so it's been five hours and this is how I'm looking. So I went out, run a couple errands, picked up my kids from school. I've come home, I'm just about to cook and I feel more comfortable cooking with no makeup on. Um, so I literally wanna take it off. So before I take it off, I thought I'd give you girlies a final thoughts and review and let you see how it's worn throughout the day basically. Um, so let's see so I'm gonna zoom you girlies in in a sec but I just wanted to show you my flashback test results um, I did do it on snapchat so if you follow me on snapchat you know the results already but I will insert a picture either here or completely cover my face <laughs> Remember this is the Ben Nye side and this is the Makeup Revolution side. It was very, very little flashback and I rarely take pictures with flash anyway, but if you're out at a party, it didn't look super crazy as you can see from the picture. Okay, girlie, so this is how my under eyes are looking, really healthy. I did use a setting spray once I got off camera because I forgot to do it on camera. I used the NYX Dewy Finish Spray because um, I like a dewy finish. The only place that I tend to get oily on my face after wearing makeup all day is this area right here. You did see me set it in the video. So I put both powders up there and both have got oily. So that's just my oily bit and my nose. Um, but as for my cheeks, they look really, really good and glowy and healthy. Now let's get to this under eye where I baked. Straight off, it doesn't look worn out or tired. Both sides look really, really well. Actually, I'm quite happy with how they are looking, nice and matte and not creasy. So this is a close up, so I hope you guys can make your own decision. Ben Nye, Makeup Revolution. In my eyes, they look exactly the same at this stage in the game. When you first apply them, you can kind of tell the difference. This side's a bit dry. Once you spray that spray, all the problems are gone. All the differences are gone and they practically look like the same powder. Um, so yeah, that's it. So my final thoughts on these two powders are they are definitely comparable to each other. Um, I definitely would say if you want to save a bit more coins, then use this. Um, there's nothing really spectacular popping out about the Ben Nye one that I can say, yeah, go out and splurge and get this one because right now they're giving me the exact same look. I would say just kind of go with the cheaper one because it's, who doesn't want to save some coins? <laughs> okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.